Whether you're trying to animate a fight scene, comedy sketch, or an explainer video, it's quite likely that at some point, you're going to want to add audio to your Adobe Animate project. In this video, we're going to look at supported audio formats, how to import audio, and what you can do with the audio once you've imported it into Adobe Animate. Let's start by taking a look at the supported audio file formats. We have Adobe Sound Files, WAV, AIFF, MP3s, Sound Designer 2, Sun AU, FLAC, and OGG files. If you're not sure which file format to use, I recommend WAV because it stores uncompressed audio, which means you get better quality audio, but a larger file size. WAV is also very widely used and supported, so you should have no trouble working with WAV files regardless of which audio editing software or recording device you're using. For the sake of this tutorial, I've got a WAV file here that I want to use. To add this to my Adobe Animate project, I can either import to the library or import to the stage. I like using the library. So let's go into Adobe Animate and click on File, Import, Import to Library. Once you've found your audio file, you can either double click on it or press open. And if we go to the library now, we can see that the WAV file has been added to the library. Now, the next thing we want to do is to get the audio onto the timeline. It's a good idea to put audio on its own layer. So let's name this empty layer audio. And with the audio layer selected, we can simply go back to the library and drag the WAV file onto the stage. It might seem like nothing's happened, but if you look at the timeline now, you see that there's just a tiny bit of orange on frame one. This is actually the audio waveform, which we can see more of by extending the timeline. Going to the start of the timeline and pressing play, Making sound. we can now hear part of our audio file. To hear the entire audio clip, you just need to add frames to the timeline until you can see the end of the waveform. So let's try and do that. Still not there. You can see that it could get a bit difficult with longer audio clips, but I don't think there's any other way to do this. But now we found the end of our audio waveform. You can see that it stops at around frame 212. I can just go and remove the other frames. Remove frames. And if I go back to the start now and press play, we can hear the entire audio play Making through. Sounds into the microphone. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. However, if I press play when we're not on frame one, for example, let's start randomly over here at frame 111, you can hear nothing, nothing's playing. And that's because of how Adobe Animate handles audio synchronization. To understand that, let's take a look in the Properties panel. The setting we're looking for is Sync. Uh, we've got to select the audio layer first. And the Sync setting that we're looking for should be inside Sound Settings, which is this section over here in the middle of the Properties panel. By default, this is set to Event, which only plays when the first keyframe is activated. This can be useful to play sounds when a button is pressed for example, on a Flash website or a mobile app, but it's not what we want for animation. If I click into the menu, you can see there are a couple other options. Start and Stop are also used for interactive projects like Event, and Stream is the sync setting that we want to select. When Stream is selected, Adobe Animate forces the audio and the animation to play in sync, and we can also start audio playback from any frame in the timeline. Another thing you can do is to set the audio clip to repeat a specific number of times or to loop indefinitely. I rarely use this because I work mostly with dialogue, but I can see this being useful for shorter audio clips like sound effects. Okay, so let's take a look at the other sound settings. The first option is name, which shows you which audio file is selected. You can also use the drop down menu to choose a different audio file if you've got more in the library or select none to remove it from the current layer. Next we have effects, which includes basic effects like fading in, fading out, or controlling the left and right channels. If you need more control, 
Clicking on this icon next to effects will open the audio envelope. Inside the audio envelope, the top and bottom halves represent the left and right audio channels respectively. And these lines that you can see near the top of each channel represents the audio levels. Clicking and dragging the handles will let you adjust the audio levels. For example, if I pull this handle on the left channel all the way down, I should now only hear audio playing from my right speaker when I press play. Making sounds into the... And that's what I'm hearing. We can also click and drag anywhere along the line to create a new handle. So if we wanted the audio to fade in, we would start at the bottom of both channels and then create a new handle somewhere along and pull it up and do the same on both channels. So if I press play now, we should hear it fade in. Making sounds into the microphone. Well, it wasn't very obvious. Let's zoom out and make the fade in last a bit longer. Making sounds into the microphone. Yeah. yeah. You can also change the effects in here and that will let you see what they've done. For example, I've chosen the fade out effect and they have faded it out the same way that we faded it in before. Okay, I'm going to click cancel and get rid of all the changes we made. Let's talk about something that should be simple but isn't quite so simple. Let's say I only want to use the second half of this audio clip. I struggled with this a lot when I first started working with audio in Adobe Animate because my intuition would be to just try and insert a new keyframe. So let's try and split it here and insert a new keyframe. You can see that the audio just disappears. If I go into the properties panel and select audio file to add it back in and then press play. Making sounds into you notice that the audio just restarts when we reach the new keyframe. So what should we do if we want just the second half of the audio clip? First, let's get rid of this keyframe. And the first option, if you want to cut it over here, is to right click on the timeline where you want to cut the audio and select split audio. Pressing play now. Yay. This time, the audio clip remembers where it should start and we can go ahead and delete the unwanted frames. So now we should have an audio clip that starts from the middle and plays to the end. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another option is to go back into the audio envelope. And here in the audio envelope, you can adjust the start and end points of the audio clip by dragging this slider in between the two audio channels. You will also see some numbers here along the slider. This represents time in seconds, or you can change it to frames depending on your preference using these two icons down in the bottom right, frames or seconds. Let's adjust the start point so we have it somewhere here towards the end. And remember, we can also adjust the end point. So I'll do that to cut off that last sound bit. And this is helpful if you want to loop a small section of a longer audio clip. I'll click OK now and show you what I mean. So we've now isolated this little bit of the audio that says, yeah. and if I wanted that to repeat over and over again, I would go back into the properties panel and select loop. Now let's go to start yeah. and press play. You're now an expert on working with audio in Adobe Animate. And I know, you know, mm, animators don't usually like working with audio. It's not fun. Animation is fun. Audio is not. I personally hate working with audio, but we've got to suck it up sometimes and just do it. And I hope this video helps you to do just that and helps you to understand what you're doing so it's not such a pain in the ass. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more animation related content, like tutorials, animation gear, whatever. And as always, thank you for watching. I think you're pretty cool. Goodbye.